is John Paul Rice, some people call me. Okay, so there's a channel called Star Wars Explained. Let's take a look. Now, here's a channel here, and they have 539,000 subs. But wait, before you say, wow, that's a big channel, they've got so many subs, they're doing great, their views are actually pretty terrible. Let's just throw that out there first of all. This video, it's one hour old, it's got 3.7k views, even Geeks and Gamers, who's got about 200k right now, usually does at least like 10k, 9k in the first hour or something like that. This one's two days old, it's got 6,400 views. That's not a lot of views for that sub count, that's over half a million subs. That is a piss poor ratio. This one here has got 6.7k, 12k, 18k, but even 18k views for a channel with half a million subscribers, that's not so good. So before you let the subscriber count get in your head, look at how they're doing. They're doing terrible. You know, 26k, that's not even half their subscriber base. That's not even a fourth. It's not even a sixth, I don't think. So. That puts that into context. Now, why are they doing so bad? Hmm. Thing is, these people follow the exact narrative of the left-wing media, and they put out the cringiest video I've seen in a very long time. Let's take a look. So here it is. This is retweeted from Jeremy's account, and yeah, shout out to you. Not that you need it so much, but yeah, thank you, Jeremy. And um, let's take a look. This is just a lot of angry men who are threatened by women who are in charge of their Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, it's... I, I do think that there is a bit of a push to make Star Wars more inclusive, and I think that's a good thing. I think that they can be doing more to make it more inclusive, and people who are against that, I don't know. It's just like, Star Wars should be for everyone. I don't know why that's hard for people to digest. Yeah, first and foremost, it's for kids. That, yeah. Secondly, it, yeah, you're right. It should be all-inclusive and diverse. Yes. Taking a... All right, so uh, first of all, Star Wars is not for kids. I've said this before. Star Wars, the beautiful, beautiful, amazing thing about Star Wars is it has the perfect mix for adults and for kids, and that really shines through on the OT, especially the prequels, were kind of made for kids apparently, especially episodes 1 and 2. That's what people didn't like about them so much. But the original trilogy was not made for kids, okay? It had a really great balance for adults and for kids. Now, the other thing I want you to notice about these people is the passion is absolutely zero. They have no passion and no heart behind what they're saying. It looks like she's reading from a script from an article that was written by Forbes or the Mary Sue or something. She's just like, and it's a franchise that, and she's just like hardly even getting her words out. When somebody talks and you believe what you say, you have passion behind that. You're a little bit fired up. You're making a video. You're looking at each other. You're agreeing. They're kind of just like, yeah, and you know, it's the f inclusion and it's totally either it's fake or they have no idea what they're saying, they're completely out of reality, basically. And like I said, half a million subs and 6,000 views, now you see why. So what happened was probably they had a bunch of subs before The Last Jedi came out, especially. And everyone was like, oh, pretty cool channel. So I was explained, talking about theory and stuff. Then like half of those people hated The Last Jedi. Maybe more than half, you know? And then these people just pushed through right with what the media was saying, and probably half their fan base just left and unsubscribed, or just forgot to unsubscribe and stopped watching. So what happens is, they've probably got like a 75% dead fan base. So, they're acting more like a channel that's got about 100k subs, even less. But to, it's about that, okay? A channel with 100k subs that's not very active but still moving along, like, you know, gets about 10k views on average minimum, about 10% of their fan base. So, you know, their channel's functioning like they've pretty much got like 75% of the fans gone. And you could see why. Very, very cringy stuff. And by the way, they blockchained pretty much everybody who was following or 
Jeremy Follows or something like that. You know, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, I'm pretty sure we all know him. And I think it was everyone following him. Because he's only following like 200 people. They're obviously blocked. And I'm blocked. And thanks, Star Wars Explained. So they don't even want to have like dialogue, conversation. They just want to push out their regurgitated thoughts from the media and have people eat it up. But it ends up being very, very cringy. So I'll be happy to watch that channel die. Because with the views they're getting now, uh, it's not going to be good. The Rise of Skywalker, is it going to help them? Maybe. It'll rejuvenate a little bit of interest into the channel. But it looks like it's going nowhere fast and I'm very happy to see it. Compared to Doomcock maybe, who's got like 57,000 subs right now. Last time I checked, breaking 100k views sometimes. 50k views, 20k views on average or something like that. He's got a fraction of the subs. So just for comparison of growth, that's what it is. So keep in mind, subscriber numbers, not very important. And especially in the case of half a million and 6k views. Sorry, I'm acting a little bit snippy because this kind of shit is just completely unnecessary. It's just terrible. Men threatened by women. They're just going down the line of the exact crap that's been said in the media. Even if you like The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, their attitude is just such unrealistic hot trash. I said it. I'm just going to say everything just right out because what's the point in holding back on these people? See you next time.